Today's Your Daily Bible Verse devotional is sponsored by the David Caleb Cook Foundation. If our podcast has been a blessing in your life, would you consider helping us get Bibles to children in Muslim countries? Go to davidcalebcook.org backslash daily Bible to donate. Your gift will help send God's word to children around the world. Hey, listeners. Thanks for joining us for your daily Bible verse. We hope you enjoy this deeper look at one of your favorite or maybe not so well-known Bible verses. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and verses by topic, we'd love for you to visit us on BibleStudyTools.com. Five Truths About God's Blessing Over You, written by Lisa Apollo, read by Laura Hopkins. Today's verse is Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The people of Israel had been camped at the foot of Mount Sinai for almost a year after leaving Egypt. They had received God's Ten Commandments and His full law and built the tabernacle according to God's precise instructions. Now, on the cusp of moving toward the Promised Land and going into battle, God commanded the high priest Aaron to pronounce this blessing over the people. Because we hear these words recited so often, we can lose the awe that God would bless so extravagantly. Let's dig out five truths in God's blessing over you. First, God is the source of all blessing. Although often referred to as the priestly or Aaronic blessing, these words weren't written by men. They are God's words spoken through his priests to his people. God is a God who blesses. In fact, when God created Adam and Eve, the first thing he did was to bless them. And the last thing Jesus did he blessed his apostles. As Jesus was taken into heaven, he was blessing his apostles. While these words are often spoken as a prayer or petition, there is no will you or may you found here. God has proclaimed this blessing and has commanded that it be spoken over his people. Second, God blesses us personally. Six times these verses repeat you, and each time it is in the singular form. Rather than blessing Israel corporately in these verses, God of the universe blesses each one personally. In a crowd of more than two million, God saw each one. God sees you. God knows you intimately, cares for you individually, and blesses you personally. Third, God bends down to benefit us. The Hebrew word for bless means to kneel down. Used metaphorically here, it shows that God bends down to give us himself and with that all of his benefits, his faithfulness, mercy, forgiveness, grace, love, comfort, joy, hope, guidance, redemption, adoption, acceptance, and more. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 tells us we have every spiritual blessing through Jesus Because God is infinite, we can never reach the end of his blessing. Fourth, God blesses us as a father to his child. How can God lift his countenance upon us if he is in heaven and we are on earth? Doesn't he look down upon us? These words are a picture of a father lifting his child in his arms above him. Just as that father lifts up his beaming face to that child, God shines his full pleasure his full goodwill, and his full joy over you as his child. Fifth, God's blessing brings peace. Who doesn't want peace? But God's peace is more than the absence of strife. The Hebrew word for peace, shalom, stems from the word which means restoration back to the original state. God's peace means not just harmony, but completeness and wholeness, rest and welfare, soundness and safety. Take heart today. In a world that is often hard and chaotic, 
God has bent down to bless you personally. God of infinite benefits gives them to you. And though the world may frown, God's beaming countenance is upon you. Today, child, walk in the fullness of your Father's extravagant blessing. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word. Did you know that children between the ages of 4 and 14 are four times more likely to accept Christ than they will be as adults? And that need to share the gospel and the love of Jesus with precious children is even greater in the Muslim world, where many never hear about Christ's love for them. You can help lead children in Muslim countries to Jesus by sending them a Bible through the David Caleb Cook Foundation. Your gift will send a colorful, comic-style action Bible that connects with kids so they can know the hope of Jesus. So please, give your best gift today at davidcalebcook.org backslash crosswalk and watch as God transforms these children to transform their world.